Right, howdy folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to Greenland's Farm. As you can see, we've now got some dairy cows. Um, we've got a bit of grub along the front. Um, they're fully strawed up. And uh, yeah, we've got 60 animals, as you, as you can see. Um, no health, no milk yet. I mean, I've only just bought them, so they've got to settle in, haven't they? So um, yeah, then hopefully we can get producing some milk and you know, a bit of slurry and muck and all that stuff. Um, and uh, I've still got to cut some grass, and I and of course, like I said before, maize harvest is coming. Um, be is it next month? Yes, next month, I think. Um, but I thought to start this video off, I was going to do something that I was threatened to do in the past couple of vids, and that is take down these trees. I do wonder about taking that one down as well. Because it's right in the middle of the yard. <laughs> I mean, right in the middle of the yard. So, um, yeah, we're going to cut a few of these down and um, make a bit more of a yard. And we'll have to plant some, some others elsewhere to make up for it. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Tate's store is, well it's not full, but it's um, as full as it's going to be at the minute because that field is done. Harvester is in the barn. All right, let's fire this up. See how we get on. Oh, we really want it to sort of land, well, anyway, apart from going over towards the silos, it should, um, shouldn't hit the barn, I wouldn't have thought. So we'll do a cut in there. And then we'll do a cut there. We'll do a back cut. I mean, you can't tell where you've cut, but we'll do a back cut there. And we'll hopefully... Oh, yes. What a shot. What a shot. Beautiful. So that's one down. I'm going to have a bit of the best to clear up, ain't I? Oh, we'll knock this one down. Smidge. And then we'll do a back cut there. Yes. I've got a right hole mix to clear up here, isn't I? So that's two down. I think. Do we? Have, yeah, we'll have that one down as well. I'm going to have a right hole mess here to clear up, but it'll be worth it. Back cut there. Superb. I like the the um uh, the, the sound you get. It does sound like a tree falling over, doesn't it? Right, so we've we've sort of tidied that up now. Up with that. Do we have that one out, do you think? Hmm. Hmm, I'm undecided. I mean, I've got three fairish trees to clear up here. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll have it out. I've decided. We'll have it out. So, cut there. I have to get a mulcher in to um, chop these stumps up. And we'll do a back cut there. I am, I am good at sending them where I want to send them, isn't I? 
Now I've got a right hole. Mr. Clear up, <laughs> haven't I? <laughs> couldn't have sent them any better, could I? I really couldn't. That's some professional chainsawing. Right, so we've <laughs> got that to clear up. We'll do that later. Um, we've got other jobs to be getting on with as well. Right, now I've just had a bit of a shock. Um, well, we cut them trees down. I just looked at the calendar and um, well, I'll show you. I didn't really realise. Look, we're here. We're in the second half of September and I'm nearly halfway through me wheat and barley um, planting season. <laughs> I've got literally hardly any ground ready. Um, today is the last day to get any canola in, any raping. Um, and I, was <laughs> I didn't realise where the time had gone. So it's all hands to battle stations. And um, yeah, I've got to get these fields... There's about three fields, I think, three or four fields of um, with the crops we've got to get rid of, and then I've got to hit the cultivations hard and drilling, get some crops in the ground. So let's keep cracking. I do like this star, it's a lovely track. 6240 CVT as all the, I'm pretty sure all the stars are, uh, maybe not all CVT, they might not all be CVT, I'm not sure, we don't get a lot of stars over here, if any, but of course it's, you know, part of the, you know, Fiat Group, Case, um, Case IH in New Holland, Yeah, so we've got some cracking on to do. A lot of cracking on. Then we've got a bit of money in the bank again. And I have been looking at them fields at the bottom of the map. Where it's just sort of uh, a part land really. A lot of grass with um, um, you know, trees scattered throughout. And I am quite fancy in buying all that. Um, it'll cost... Mm, roughly half a million, maybe a bit more. Biggest plot is about 380, I think. Um, yeah, it's probably a bit more than half a million. But I am quite fancy in that. Having the trees out, there's a few trees in there, have the trees out. And make that into a big, big old field. Get a big, um, you know, a big field of wheat in there. Or something similar. I'm quite fancying that at the minute, but <laughs> I mean, that might be well, f you know, it may well be for next year. Because I'm going to, well, I'm going to, as it stands at the minute, I'm really going to pull my finger out to get this um, ground, uh, you know, it's ground ready and drilled. I <laughs> really am in the time. Right, so I set one of the workers off on the mulcher um, and get that uh, field done. It's time to break out the big guns. Yes. Specifically, this big gun. She is a big hoss compared to the T dub. Right, we're going to head down over to the dealer. And we've got a couple of new implements there. I've got the big, um, the big old plow, the 12 furrow KV. Um, but I think, uh, I've also bought the 8 metre uh, subsoiler, just so I can crack on and get over this ground. And I think, um, We'll put this on the subsoil if it can pull it because it is actually a bit underpowered. I'd probably be better off um, sticking the challenger on it because the challenger is a hoss. 
Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the big old first um, first hole can do. Of course, we have got the opportunity. You know, the the possibility that we, you know, um, we could tune her up a bit. She's only um, a nine ninety six eighty four. Yeah, 9684. Um, whereas we could um, upgrade it to a 9884, which is yeah, takes it to 425 also, I think, rather than the 360 we've currently got. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, see how she performs. Yeah, so look at that big old um, block of land down there. I do fancy that. I do fancy it. Oh, I've got some more lines for to do as well. So much to do, so much to do. That's a hell of a plough, isn't it? That is a hell of a plough. Well, oh, gee, that's a hell of a subsoiler, isn't it? We'll see how she handles that. We'll get in that potato ground and we'll see um, um, how she copes pulling it through there. Oh, I'll just pull up here a minute. Well, I'm just going to do a soil sample. I think we need to... Um, yeah, we need to lime this, so... Um, hmm. That will do. We'll lime it. That would be rough to lime that, wouldn't it? Going over potato beds and stuff. So we'll uh, subsoil it first. That's what we'll do. Big old cat's looking on, she is. Make sure we do it right. Has the big mule and got the grunt to do it. She's lacking about 40 horsepower. This um, subsoil requires 400 horse. So we'll see how she gets on. See what she does. No, no bothers. No bother to the girl. Per how long she is. I thought she'd struggle a bit more, but she's quite happy pulling out at six miles an hour. We don't need GPS really, innit? Well, we're all right, mate, is we we should be able to turn on and turn on ourselves. Yeah. 
Oh, no, I'm going to pick the the big KV up with the Atlas because um, I think although she's mega down on power, really, um, she's about 100 horsepower less than what the plow requires or what the game says the plow requires. I reckon she's got the got the um, go in her to drag this up and down. Although saying that, there's a hell of a hill in it, isn't it? So um, in this field. If you remember, this is when we've got the chaser stuck and we were having all sorts of problems. Um, but uh, we'll see how we get on. That's all we can do, really, isn't it? Now, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to leave the whole um, whole headland on, if you remember, on the was it previous episode or the one before. Um, when I ploughed that field there, which I've still got to finish ploughing the headlands, um, I started on that far hedge. I ploughed up to the hedge and worked away. Now this I'm going to sort of well not demonstrate because um, you know it's going to take quite a while to plough this, even with this plough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do it as though um, I'm going to leave Helen all the way around. So we'll unfold this super plough. Right. right, okay, yep. Yeah. She's all unfolded. Well, that should flip her over, hopefully. Yep, yeah. takes a little while, doesn't it? Must be the first time the big class has been put to work, I think, on land work. I'm sure it is. But I'm pretty confident she can handle it. So up to about 1800 revs. She's a hoss of a tractor. Right, so what we're going to use um, is uh, you see where I've chopped the straw. Because I chopped the. What did I go around twice with the Dominator? And I chopped the outsides, chopped the headlands. So that is what I'm going to use for my marker. So it's quite handy. So we're going to plough basically everything that isn't chopped and then that'll leave uh, hopefully a nice um, what was it about 14 meter headland I think something like that so we'll see how we get on with it anyway oh that what the <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, speed up. Not happy with that. She's only in bomb wheel drive as well. She's full wheel drive broke on this. Alright. Ease it down a minute. Right, now I fiddle with it and she's hopefully back in full wheel drive now. So we'll try again, see what she does. Give us some revs. Come on, go. Do not let me down. Try forwards, it would be handy. That's more like it. And uh, yeah, straighten up. Yeah, that's more like it. She knows about it, but she's she's a hoss of a tractor, isn't she? I do like this class. She is a hoss. Look at her, just sat down, gripping. So now you see here, we are... Well, I'm just I'm not quite on the line of the... Um, we're going to call the heaven line. Um, but it's just we're just crossing it now so what we're going to have to do is I've got again I've got no actual proper individual control of this plough am I so I'm going to have to drag the whole thing through um, so like now I lifted the linkage up so at the front of the front half of the front plough would have been out of the ground then I'd lift the back um, end up leaving the rear plough till last but 
Alas, I have not got that ability on here. Which is a shame, which is a shame. So what we'll do, looking at that, we will go, because it sort of straightens out again, we'll nip down the bottom here. And we'll come back up, I think. You know, come back up there. Well, we'll go, whoa, 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 whoa. Run off there. I forgot it's a big old hill in it. <laughs> uh, and we'll run straight up there and we'll hope my guesstimate is about right. Just because we can't see because we've got to run a hill, but. Once we sort of get set, we'll be. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. I said, whoa, girl! Must end up in that river. <laughs> that is dragging me down. This is going to be the challenge, isn't it? Look at her. She's that plow is dragging me backwards. Right. Anyway, we'll drop it in. See, this is the trouble I've got. This is probably going to just drop near enough the whole plough in not where I want it but we'll have to give it a go see what she's got here once in here I think it drops the whole lot all at once which is not what you want I want the control yeah, the ability to manually operate that rear linkage and the middle of the power would be great but um, I could do a much tidier job but well, that's not going to happen. Look at her. She is just gripping. Look how I like that. You see how squat them rear tyres are? Just checking them online, yeah. I'm not really concentrating on the player at the minute. But look at them rear tyres squatting. That is nice. It's a nice little detail, that is. She's not doing bad. I mean, it might pay to put the Challenger on it. Because the Challenger would be good on this power, I reckon, nice and manoeuvrable. But she's, you know, she's doing well. This is on flat ground, this tractor would romp with this power, I reckon. Really would. But fair play to her. See, that was a pretty good guess of mine, wasn't it? I mean, we were a bit, <laughs> a bit wibbly wobbly, but uh, that's because I was busy looking at the tyres. Right, so it's going pretty well. I'm. Well, I'm not fully impressed with the plough because something that's really bugging me I have to say it's really bugging me is the fact that it does pick the whole plough up at once so you're getting massive and I mean massive um, ins and outs can't help it all up at once how, how handy is that not really. So that is really annoying me. Apart from that, the plough's lovely. And we're getting over it pretty sharpish. Nothing we can do about that. We'll just have to have a bigger head and some allows, wouldn't it? But uh, apart from that, she's a fair rig. Just look, I just love that tractor. Look at that tractor. Grunting away. Very 
Yes. Shouldn't take too long to get over this field, to be honest. Right, so I'm going to keep plodding my way over this field, and um, yeah, probably the next episode will be full of cultivations and ploughing as well at this rate. Um, there is lots to do, and I, like I, said, I really didn't make much, take much notice of um, sort of where we were date-wise, and the fact that I needed to get on, but <laughs> I've left it a little, a little bit late, but uh, we'll get there. We've got plenty of horsepower on tap, and we've got plenty of tracks. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem. We've got plenty of implements. Um, so we should uh, we should be able to make the, uh, the, city, uh, the drilling date. Um, but I'm going to have to be fairly quick with um, getting a canola in, because it's got to go in today. If I put any in, and I, I wouldn't mind putting a few fields in, so I will crack on doing this, and um, yeah, we will see you, uh, you know, on the next video. Like I say, it will probably be more ploughing, more cultivating, and all that sort of stuff. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel, please, because it all helps um, grow the channel a bit more. And oh, a couple of other quick things um ankle update because i'm sure some of you wondering about my ankle is really sort of on the men now um i can even sort of walk normally on flat surfaces so um yeah back at work jobs are good and just got to be careful on une uneven ground so uh, that is a big plus um and the other what was the other thing there's my ankle and oh multiplayer i haven't forgot about multiplayer um I will um, get that sorted. It sounds like we're gonna, I've had a few offers of um, um, it being set up on a Discord um, server, so I've got to look into that a little bit. But um, rest assured, that'll be coming fairly soon. We'll do a bit of multiplayer and uh, get some of you uh, that um, have been watching involved as well. And uh, we'll have a bit of fun doing that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to keep plodding up and down this field in the Atlas. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!